Hello everyone, my name is Pitham Paul and welcome to another video of the Python programming playlist. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to talk about the loops. Actually, we will be starting uh, the iterative statements in Python. There are two loops. One of the first one is for loop and another one is while loop. That's fine. Now, as you can see here that uh, this is a basic example of uh, for loop. Okay. Now here you can see one thing which is called range. Okay. Now what is range? that is it that is the thing which we are going to discuss first and in the next video we are going to deep dive in the like for loop while loop and nested loops what are the things that there okay now first of all let me open the pie charm okay uh one sec uh, yeah for loop okay inside that let me create a python file Now, for i in range 10, for example, print i. Now, if I run it, you can see 0 to 9 has been printed out. That means i is iterating from 0 to 9. Okay. Now, we don't know what is the range function. Okay. If I control like command and uh, press enter, then this is a library which you can say built in .py. So here the range function has been defined okay but uh, we have to understand what exactly range function is okay let me move it to the right top okay yeah cool now yeah now let's start with the range function okay what is range function in python the range function returns a sequence of numbers in a given range okay so here what i did that i like passed a value which is 10 then i is uh, like iterating from 0 to 9 that means the value which we are putting less than 1 up to less than 1 that would be the upper limit okay 10 minus 1 is 9 and is the upper limit of the range okay here but as i haven't put anything like the initial for example if i put 0 comma okay then on uh, then also the output would be same but if i put for example 5 comma 10 then obviously it is coming from like 5 to 9 okay so by this one you can decide okay now for example uh, 1 to 9 1 to 10 this is the range and if i put one like step is 2 okay then you can see 1 3 5 7 9 so the increment value has been increased by 2 for example if i do like for example uh, okay so that is the one okay now that's fine let's go to the so as i have told already start stop and step already i have like explained okay start obviously it's an optional okay why it is optional as i've seen all like i have already explained 0 to 10 is already like by default it would be like if you write 10 0 to 9 would be printed out so it is optional stop is something next value after the end value of the sequence okay if you put the stop value here then obviously uh, like obviously it would be less than one right and set sorry step it is also optional and return what it returns returns an object that represents a sequence of number that's it okay now for example if i write uh, for l equal to range 10 and then if i print l for example then you can see it is coming range 0 comma 10 okay now what is the type if you want to see let's let's check class range okay class range it is a class inside that like this kind of sequence would be printed out obviously inside that sequence it is embedded like 0 to 9 but here if you want to print it won't be printed out that is the basic thing okay now what is the use of the range function in python in simple terms range allows the user to generate series of numbers within a given range depending on how many arguments the user passing through the to the function the user can decide where the series no, series of numbers will begin and end and what will be the like big difference for between the like next year okay which is the step one like what will be the like what will be the difference between one number and to the next number in that series that is called the step right and uh, we can uh, sorry okay so python range function can be initialized in three ways first one is as i already told range stop then start stop and then start stop and step okay now 
for example let me uh, comment it out and if i like as i already explained n equal to this okay and if you save and run you can see 1359 that is the way it is printing out but in the same line okay that is also you can like you can explore i already have told you about all these things in the print statement video okay now see here there are some examples i have put so you can see range 6 okay so 0 to 5 would be printed out and then here it is range 5 comma 20 then obviously 5 to 19 would be printed out 0 2 4 6 8 up to that it would be printed out okay so now if you put like this okay using a positive side okay uh, so 0 4 this is the way 0 4 8 12 this is the way it would be printed out now it is uh, using negative step for example so that is the one okay so what we are using here it is nothing but a positive step okay but here if i print like so for okay sorry for i in range okay uh 20 comma 5 comma minus 3 then what would be the thing 20 then 7 okay one second sorry uh print i comma and equal to this yeah now if you can see okay let me comment it out or what i can do is i can call a print function here only yeah so you can see that 17 14 11 8 and then the next one is 5 no that's why so if i put here as 4 okay so you can see 5 also has been printed out correct so this is the one this is the way the negative Uh, like uh, the decremental uh, like sequence would be happening here okay you can see negative step and positive step here okay now with the float values okay what would be the like result for with the float values by the way it won't work okay range only work with the integers okay for i in range 3 comma 3 and then print i you can see the trace back has come okay so float object cannot be interpreted as an integer because range function only works with the integers okay so here uh, there is an error will be coming okay this is the one this is the way like it doesn't support the float numbers at all okay so that is the notes which i can uh, like you can refer i have created okay if you need all this thing then let me know in the comment section i will i will do something to like so that you can also have the access okay so concatenation of two range functions using iter tools okay change method okay so what to do like for example here let me copy this one and uh, okay inside that let's create one folder to a range function inside that one file so here what is happening that from iter tools okay from iter tools uh, we are actually importing the chain function okay now concatenation result would be coming like this okay uh, chain of like range of 5 comma this so these two ranges would be concatenated and uh, that would be printed uh, like stored in arrays and that would be printed out let's see see range of 5 uh, means what 0 to 4 and range of 10 to 20 with step 2 that means 10 12 14 16 and 18 so all these things have been printed out this is the this is the like utility of the uh, chain function okay to concatenate two ranges okay so accessing range uh, within the index value like for example range of 10 of 0 for example uh, okay so that is another one let me create another file okay uh, 2.5 okay now uh, what was that okay so for example x equal to range of 10 of 0 and print x okay and also print c 0 is there and class is int that means what it is returning it is returning an integer now if you want to like for example if i write sorry 4 comma 10 okay and if i put 1 that means 5 would be printed out see 5 is there okay the class is int 
that's it this is the base simple example okay now if you put minus one then obviously it will be like what will happen it will be nine right the last one negative indexing right in python mm, we'll talk about it uh, also more like don't worry i already have shown you like uh, but we will deep dive in when we'll be like going through the like list tuple and all everything don't worry about that so this is the way range for iterating inside a data type like list of tuple how it happens okay so uh, for example let me take one example for okay so this is a list of strings you can see here and if i i in range lf len 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 is nothing but the uh, length function which will uh, like store the like length of the entire list okay so it is 4 okay so 0 to 3 every uh, every one would be printed out see every uh, fruit has been printed out correct this is the one okay so this is the basics like uh, i will deep dive in when the list uh, like tuple and string for example okay let me give you an example more like for example uh, l equal to okay so uh, for i in range l n of l okay so print uh, i comma n equal to this so sorry this is not i it will be l of i yeah now you can see pritham paul uh, has been printed out see this is the way we can print the string values also along with that okay if i write t equal to okay tuple of l and then for example print t if you can check see the tuple is there right correct now if i want to print it like i do not want to print it like this I'm sorry uh yeah i want to print it like this for i in range okay uh len of t and then if i see you can see everything has been printed out so this is the way you can use the range function to to like iterate inside the data types also like list tuple and all okay some important uh, points to remember about the python range function the range function only works with the integers or the whole numbers okay uh, all arguments must be integers user cannot pass any string or float or any other type in a start stop or step uh, argument of the range function all three arguments has to be positive or negative which is, that's why the whole number we have used okay the step value must not be zero okay it must not be zero if the step obviously it would be a value error actually basically step value zero means what like it's an uh, infinite loop correct so that's why obviously yeah now uh, the range function is a type in python actually range is nothing but a type in python okay it's not a function only inside the class the thing is there you can if you want to explore you can go inside the class and you can check the code okay and uh, like users can access the items in a range by index just as users do with a list that's it but it is not a list you try to understand that like these are not list actually okay when we are printing out all these things okay uh, these are not actually lists actually okay one second yeah these are not list actually this is inside the range it is there is nothing but a list as i already printed the type of the l which is a range class was coming okay you need to understand the difference there okay so this is an overview of the range function in the next video we will talk about it okay don't worry uh, we will talk about like uh, for loop then while loop and nested for loops for sure okay so this much for today guys and see you in the next video and by the way uh, like share and subscribe the channel for sure if you are uh, like continuing with this playlist i want to try to upload the videos daily so don't worry about that and uh, yeah so this much for today and see you in the next video